Ah, glory to Vishnu, Shiva, and Vishnu. So, guys, we are beginning the next episode of our let's of our war to end our wars. The final, probably the final war of this let's play. Um, I'm not like the final major one. I mean, there's gonna probably be more wars after this, but I'm I'm basically considering this is probably gonna be the last major, major, major encounter we're gonna have with any European powers. So we're gonna make it last. <laughs> Okay, so let's see. These guys are going to move right there, so then you guys move right there. I'm going to wait for them to finish up their conquest. They'll move in those guys. These guys over here are conquering back this. You guys are just kind of holding the line, not helping out those guys. You guys go down here, go help out these guys. Um, you guys, move in soldiers over here to go protect these guys. I think we won that battle, by the way, which is good, because that was a major battle. Over here down in Indonesia, we have basically turned the tide of the entire war. This is all basically underneath our control. Like, this is all legitly underneath our control. I'm gonna move my army over here. We conquer Viet Tien, which is the capital of Laos at this current state in time. Okay, go right here. Let's see. Go right. Oh, yeah, you guys go moving down. You guys moving down. You guys moving that way. You moving that way. You moving that way. Yeah, and once. Yeah, so yeah, anyways guys, we are rapidly destroying Russia, I mean, rapidly destroying Russia, I mean, even if by chance the Germans are destroyed in this entire engagement, we will still have enough of an army to go in and go destroy them. I mean, we're basically, we basically destroyed most of the Russians, and we have so much of an opportunity to destroy so much more, we are just hitting, we are just hitting the top of the barrel right now, if I must be honest, just hitting the top of the barrel, okay. You guys moving up there. Okay, I was already moving my troops up there to go crush the rest of these guys. Let's do it! Destroy the Russians! Destroy the Soviets! It's... This is not for Mother Russia! Yay! Thank you. Okay. You guys move in right here then. Alright. Back to this front over here. They seem to be pushing back pretty heavily over here. They seem to be trying to find some kind of, um... Weakness over in this front. The sad part is, though, is that they won't find any. I have a pretty lock-hard dead system. Now, I'm not just saying that because I like the system a lot. It's because I really do have a pretty hardcore system. Over here, we have another stupid, just random soldier that's doing derp a derp things. Uh, Japan isn't really doing anything, which is kind of shocking. Like, if anyone was the most useless person in this entire game, it was Japan. Or at least in this entire campaign, it was Japan. They did absolutely nothing. Alright. And now we completely have blocked up the British landwise in terms of invasions from down there. So we should never have to worry about any more from from down there ever again. Which is good. Um, I'm gonna keep some soldiers up here though, just in case if there's something goes wrong. I'm gonna slowly start trickling in my men down to here. Oh my goodness. Alright, over here we have some random bits of Okay, yeah, that's definitely gonna fall to me. <laughs> I don't, yeah, those guys are definitely dead. Okay, um, okay, I'm gonna use some of these guys to start, like, cleaning up my borders a little bit, because we have a lot of different places that have conquest things. Over here, you get over here, and you're almost there, dude, you're almost there. Okay, over here, we have some more conquest. This is almost done conquesting. Yeah, and then over here, so yeah, even if, like I said, even if they somehow, even if somehow, some way, you know, I were to lose, you know, everything, I would still have a dang good force in the background. Well, if we were to lose, basically what I'm saying, guys, if we were to lose the state of, of Germany, we would still have a massive enough army to fight them and to fight everyone else off with a pretty big amount of force. We are we are not going down. If, if, Russia, if Germany was to go down, it would affect us very little. We would still be able to do a lot more. <laughs> I mean, look at this. We've moved in by ourselves, pretty much, and just, pretty much by ourselves, and just taken so much. So much. Okay, combine all these guys, and... To protect these guys. Yeah, let's protect some of these, let's protect some of our own soldiers. Um, you guys are moving in right down there to make sure that we have a good protection right there. As you can see, there's a big gigantic gap right here, but that should be closed up very quickly here because we have lots of soldiers working on it, and we're getting really close to the actual front. Not a moment too soon, too, because Russia, because Germany is about to collapse. 
Uh, it's a good thing I actually called in America, because America is going to be helping us out a lot. And there's a lot of dismantled things from America. Good job, America. You guys are being, like, hordes or hogs of the whole entire, like, you know, free causes ballet we get from this. But it's okay. I would be a horde, too, because that's what I do. Alright, but let's see. Where do we need to go? Where do we need to go? Any conquests? Let's see. Get more conquests over here. I'm going to try to go an outline kind of thing and then just go inward. Because I think in, cause I think if I try to fill in everything, I just kind of, like, mess up. So just going on an outwardly kind of direction kind of helps me out. Okay. Let's do that. Yeah, because you see all these little places I'm missing. Alright, you guys go right there. And, yeah, that should be the last province, and then we basically own all of backwards Russia. <laughs> or backbone Russia. Okay, lazy natives need to learn how to adapt. That's always been my policy, but it never usually seems to go through fruition. Fru fruition, that's the word I think I'm looking for. Don't know quite, because I'm thinking so quickly. And, by the way, I should apologize right now. If my commentary isn't up to par as it usually is, it's because I am focusing a lot. Like, I am dead. Okay, I'm gonna have to keep out. Gonna have to wait for this front to move in a little bit so that we can move in just a little bit. And where is, is there St. Petersburg the capital? Okay, I'm getting really close in. <laughs> and I'm from the opposite direction, so that makes it even more oppressive. Hmm. Yeah, it seems like the Russians have finally collapsed underneath the social pressure. Um, but it's, I think it's a little bit too late. Because I basically united the world against against them. I mean, even like I said, Germany gets out of the war, it won't really affect that much. I'll still have enough to fight and still have enough to go take down everyone. I mean, everyone. It won't even matter, really. They, they will be basically an afterthought. And these guys are almost dead, so then I can move in all these guys to go do different things. Um, down here, we can basically, can I move up this front? No. I'm going to have to wait for this unit right here to finish. Um, we're keeping this unit kind of boxed in. I'm waiting for them to kind of make a mistake so I can start moving in down more of my troops and start conquering more of Vietnam, which, ironically, I own most of China, so this is kind of like a little bit of preluding to the Vietnam War. I own North, they own South, except I'm not communist. That's the only difference, I guess, in a lot of this is that I'm not communist. I'm an old world, I'm an old world order kind of guy. So let's see, we have to watch the front a little bit. All right. The Soviets are just collapsing, collapsing, collapsing. Okay. Alright, they just lost that battle. They're retreating to Nova Isk. Follow them. Go right here. Go right here. And go right here. Do a massive attack right there. Yes. Right over here, we got this land. Go right here. Alright, we actually do need more soldiers in the southern part because they are pushing quite rapidly and they're sending in more troops over here, which I'm starting to get annoyed by. Oh, I'm starting to get annoyed by the fact they keep sending more troops over there. Hmm, yeah, Germany. Germany, you guys need to fight back somehow. Oh, you're getting rapidly destroyed. And then United States need to figure out how to get their stuff together because they have an entire war. Of oh, they did. Wow. Is this what they did? No, they didn't do that. Okay, no, that's just a different country. Oh, wow. I, the Kingdom of Ghana formed, everyone. The Kingdom of Ghana formed. Wow. You don't see that every day. Okay. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Okay, so finally these guys are done. I'm gonna move these guys down here. With that, I could probably move these guys down here, too. We're basically, yeah, we're basically gonna own this entire place now. <laughs> It's completely opposite of what it used to be, Britain, isn't it? You guys used to be beating me up, and I used to be like, uh, now look at me. I'm destroying you guys. But I am getting pretty mad about the Russians over here. Just keep finding loopholes inside their own territory, which is annoying me to no end, because I'm trying to make sure I finish these guys off, but they find something. Okay, I'm going to have to wait. Before I can conquer all this, I'm going to have to wait for my men to move up from over here. Over here, we finally linked up all this land. I'm going to start moving this guy in to go conquer all that. Um, over here, this guy is doing that. Over here, this guy is doing that. Over here, this guy is conquering the outskirts of the Soviets. This guy over here is conquering this. Okay, and soon I'll be able to just send all these guys over here. In fact, I can go send over more units over here. Because I really don't need this many anymore. <laughs> now that the war is basically becoming the unwind button. But yeah, <laughs> oh my goodness, we're crushing a lot of these guys. 
that's our main thing. And as you can see, they're sending in more and more troops over here through this little gap I have, and I'm starting to get really annoyed. So I'm going to ask Persians, will you guys give me military access? They will not accept. Cancel military access. Wait, you guys have military access with me, but I don't have military access with you. How does that work? Like, seriously, how does that work? I mean... Huh? <laughs> I, I don't know how that works. Alright, I'm gonna divide these guys up. Half of you guys go over there, half of you guys go over there. Alright. China needs help with something I don't really get. <laughs> at this point, like I said, guys, at this point, we are... We we don't need another war. Whatever Japan's fighting in, I don't really care. They didn't really help me out no matter what I did. They didn't even help me out a little bit. Didn't send me any foreign aid, didn't send me any manpower. Okay, yeah, these guys are just annoying me now. They're sending all their men into the backgrounds, which is annoying me to no end. You guys are still not dead. <laughs> uh, you guys have almost finished up the conquest of all those lands. And I have a tons of troops over here, and I finally, yes, okay. Go send this 164 army to go all the way over here. Now we can start dealing with some of these problems. I'm going to keep this army over here to make sure that we have some army over here next to our capital. Just in case if something bad were to happen. Because you never know. There could be something bad that happens. And over here, we're getting all this back underneath our control. This is already done conquering. No, it's just about to conquer. This is almost done. Now we got this. Alright, over here. You guys do this. Over here, you guys. Yeah, you guys are moving back because I already have most of this. You're almost done. Okay, you're done. Moving that way. Yeah, you guys are almost all done. Yes. The vast majority of Russia is almost all gone, which is good. And then over here, we're starting to, like I said, we're starting to re encounter lots of heavy resistance. That's why I think I'm going to wait for me to close this gap right here I have, like just in the middle of Russia, because I want to make sure that we can, you know, go do stuff. Okay, go take down some of these guys, seriously. I mean, sick of these guys. Like, seriously. And then a place under the sun. Good. Yay. Okay. Next. Okay, we're going to move in our troops right here. Okay, how should we do this? Okay, they have military access with, with the Turkish people. I'm doomed. Because <laughs> that's basically going to mess me over. They have military access with Turkey. That's going to do me. Alright, but if I were to divide my men like this, send in a couple men right there, send in a couple men right there, ah, it's not enough, we need a little bit more men to close the gap. Alright, um, dang, these guys are taking a long time to siege, I'm getting a little bit frustrated with that, they need to hurry up! Come on guys, let's hurry up, go, 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 go! Okay, and yeah, you can see, yeah, we're gonna, these, all these men that keep coming in here are kind of annoying me. Cause they should all be dead. Honestly, they should all be dead. Okay, you guys move in, crush these guys. You guys go go right here. We're going to try to block this way off. Because I'm starting to get, like I said, I'm really getting annoyed by all these men that keep coming in and destroying my army. I have a good amount of forces moving in right there to make sure that this does not happen again. You guys over here, crush, these, crush that army, please. Please just kill them. Get okay, over here, these guys are done. And we're almost there. We've almost done the Sea the Shining Sea, everyone. A <laughs> uh, little bit of American propaganda there. Okay, and let's see. Let's see, what do you border? Okay, you border about four different states. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to wait for these guys. Because I don't think I can move in. Well, uh, I'll help close the gap. That's what I'll do. Um, We'll move in right here. That way we'll start closing the gap. Actually, if we were to move in right there... Okay, and then if we had one more... Let's see if we can do this. We might be able to close a gap. Yeah, we might be able to just completely and utterly close the gap. Okay, and then right over here we have some soldiers. Go, go use that army to go first go kill off the rest of these Soviets. And then we're gonna completely broadside them right here. And that way they won't ever, ever be able to use this land against us. Okay. Now completely divide up my men. Divide up the men evenly. Come on, guys. Use wartime. Use wartime. Use wartime. Come on. 
I become much more aggressive when yeah I realized something <laughs> when I'm actually in these wars I actually become way more aggressive like I start to just I don't know sink into kind of an aggressive feeling okay there's a lot damn we have lots of soldiers here um let's keep some of them back here I'll keep 37 back here but I'm gonna send the rest of those guys to go help on the other front um we gain dang we gain so much prestige from this ladies and gentlemen I adapt and Okay, there's something there's something about one of my friends texting me. I don't even know what it is, but they texted me about it, so might be dealing with that later on today, but for right now I am finishing up this siege. I'm finishing up this war. Because that's really where we are at. Oh my goodness. And then you guys move in right there. Get you guys first combine, because that's why I did that was so you guys can combine. Move in down there. Yeah, we basically own all this. I have some soups over here to make sure that if they do anything, we have movement. Uh I'm basically gone bankrupt, and that's not good. <laughs> that's definitely not a good sign, but luckily, for some reason, bankruptcy does not really concern me because I can always pay back most of the bills that the, that the computer pays me or makes me repay. Okay, over here, got these guys over here, just dividing up all that land. Okay, over here. Okay, finally. Okay, you guys move in right there, and then the rest of you soldiers will just basically go in and finish off okay you go finish off these guys you guys go finish off these guys okay you guys okay oh, dang. divide up and conquer I guess uh, dang. I actually don't have enough soldiers over there to go do much okay but over here we have basically enough soldiers what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go send some soldiers over here to go do some crazy stuff Keep some soldiers over here to make sure that we don't have any more. Ah, oh, dang it. Now they're moving into my land. Which is completely... I have soldiers over here, too. To block that. I have basically soldiers everywhere. Oh, my goodness. Okay, and... Yeah. And then Brunei is falling a little bit. Okay, you guys are almost done. Thank goodness. You guys are almost done. You guys are almost there. You guys are just going rapidly into finishing mode. Okay, finish up all this conquest. Okay, all right. And then once we have a good enough army back over here on the front, and so we can start moving in all these little individual territories and start like stabbing back at all the Austrian forces that are over here. Oh my goodness, that's gonna be a pain. Okay, but at least we basically collapsed a lot of this. Let's see if any of the individuals will want to get out of the war. Austria. Austria, would you guys want to get out of the war? No. You guys are definitely not wanting to get out of the war. Well, that's good, because I don't want you guys out of the war. I want to go make sure I can defeat you guys. This is the ultimate proving that the... This is the ultimate proven test, guys. Like, this is the... It. This is it. This is the one we've been waiting for for a long time to do. The one where we finally prove that we can take on anyone. And we can destroy any European power. Okay, you guys move in right there. Yeah, that's safe. Okay. And then you guys are about to finish up your guys' conquest. Gonna move some more troops into the northern frontier. That's really where we need some troops. Alright, you guys go right here. Oh my goodness. Okay, you guys go right there. Alright, you guys. There we go. And then you guys go up to the northern frontier. That way we have some more people moving in there. And then that way we have good things. I'm sending most of my troops over here to go kill off the rest of these Soviets. Uh, and then you, and then all you guys are just doing stuff. You guys have still not killed off these guys. These guys, now, and now the Russians are completely useless over here. They are almost done over there. This is probably done over here. Yep. And now we reach the sea. Yes. And now due to some calculations, we have basically overclocked the entire Soviet land. Yes, congratulations everyone. CONGRATULATIONS! <laughs> oh my goodness. And I guess in a sense this war could still go either way because we have not technically won the battles yet. Though we have done some war fighting, we haven't really won all the battles. Um, I'm gonna move in you guys. I'm gonna... I'm gonna do this. That should create an even front to where they can't do anything about it. Yes. 
Yes. Yeah, you see? And now my reinforcements are even better, which is good, because now they're even like... <laughs> uh, they were already great, but now they're even better. Okay. And all these... Dang, there's like so many Soviets that are just trying to get through this land over here. I basically blocked them off now, though. Which is good. Except, they still got this part over here, which I'm slowly moving into. These guys will be the ones to basically go in and go conquer little Kyrgyzstan. Okay, you guys move in right there. And now, I think, since most of these guys have moved up... Okay, you guys are almost ready to start advancing again, which is good. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, yeah, you guys move in right there. You guys move in right there. Okay, you guys move in right there. We're gonna need somebody right there. Uh, hmm. Okay. Wait. Go right here. Let's see. Okay, let's see. You guys are moving right there. You guys are not moving anywhere. Uh, yeah, because you guys have like six different provinces you guys have to go to. You guys moving right there. There we go. I think I got it. And so, guys, I want to thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time.